Shannon Edwards from Enviroculture Services. We specialise in uh, broadacre landscaping and maintenance. Our mowing services range from high profile mowing sites from collection of grass to slashing of grass to slashing of bramble and woody weeds. A client expects a good finish in a timely manner. Most of our clients have small time frames, usually need the job doing in very short periods of time and give us very little notice and we have little time to get across the ground with our climatic conditions in Australia as well because we're dealing with days of total fire being when we're trying to slash tall grass. So we need to be in and out quickly, the machine needs to be efficient and have minimal breakdown periods. I was doing some research on mowers and Stephen Miller from Fieldquip, he said maybe the cyclone is worth a look for your application. So come across the cyclone mower cutting very similar vegetation in other places of the world and doing a fantastic result and had a look at how the cyclone was built and how they got their strength with such minimal amount of steel by comparison to what we had been purchasing and using in Australia. Once we received the first machine, we put it straight to work and were very happy with the results and found that the weight and the speed that we can cut across the ground and get such a fantastic finish meant that we no longer needed flail mowers, nor did we need uh, large wing mowers. Um, we were able to get away with three-point linkage mowers and reduce our cost and, and reduce our weight across the ground. I think we ordered four more off the back of that one. Because we're in rough terrain often and the terrain is undulating, the fact that the mower has a very short width means that it follows the contour as well. It has a full length roller with uh, tapered roller bearings within the roller, so like stub axles in it, which is a unique design. I was a little bit fearful of how many tapered roller bearings we would consume in rocky terrain and rough going. We haven't had a failure yet. They've been operating in our business for two full seasons and very happy with it. So the full length roller means that we're scalping a lot less, we're hitting less rock, we've got less potential for spark um, and we've got longer blade life. So it's really a win-win. Um, and the inline gearboxes haven't given us any trouble. They've got cush drives between the gearboxes themselves so all up, just a really well designed machine and, and, and functions really well. So in Australia, with our challenging conditions, we've found that the cyclone mower, we can transport it readily given that it's short length and we can get it to site quickly. And so on days of total fire ban, we're not having the need to drag big long wing mowers to cover the same width as what we can cover with the cyclone type mower. Also, we're not using the size tractor that we need to pull the wing mower, so we can reduce the horsepower required. We can fit two tractors on the one semi-trailer as opposed to one tractor, so it doubles our performance on any given day. We've had a lot of different machines, from single rotor to multi-rotor gearbox machines, wing designs, offset designs, and flail designs. Yeah, virtually we've, we've tried most of the market out in different configurations of mowers and are happy to settle on Cyclone. Anybody contracting that, that wants minimal downtime in breakdowns, this is an ideal contracting machine.